What's good YouTube? Back here with another breakdown. As always, thank you for tuning in. Always appreciate your support. And as you can see by the title, today we are breaking down Stylo G, Dumpling Remix, featuring Spice and Sean Paul. Let's get into this one. So Dumpling Remix. Prior to this, the original song for Dumpling had been blowing up. Styler had already dropped it and shot the video out in Jamaica. And yeah, it was doing crazy numbers and it was remix time. So with the remix, as you all already know, he called in Spice and Sean Paul. Spice being a huge female dancehall artist, if you don't already know, and Sean Paul being a dancehall legend. So with them two on the track, I guess it was time to do the video. And luckily I got the call. Um, it was pretty straightforward in a way that obviously they knew they wanted me to do the video and I didn't really have to pitch and do all that stuff. I literally just um, got the song and got asked to do a treatment, done the treatment and it was down to prep and plan time. So with the prepping and planning of this video, it was literally all on me. I didn't have a producer at the time and I kind of took it upon myself to sort out the flights and sort out the, the logistics from the UK to Jamaica. And then once we was in Jamaica, we had a fixer, etc., etc. So yeah, UK wise, I flew over with like two people. It was literally the DOP and the focus puller and then myself, of course. And once we was over there, I had the gaffer, sparks, fixer, and the fixer kind of doubled up as the first AD and that was Jay Will. He is also a, a very sick director based in Jamaica. And yeah, he literally helped bring everything together along with a producer over there called Carleen. So, so far, I believe this video is like my most watched view, uh, video of my career. I think it's on like 59 million, probably on 60 million by the time you're watching this video. So before I actually hit start, I'll just break down what this video was shot on. The video itself was captured on an Ari Alexa Mini and we were using Super Speed Mark II made by Zeiss, I believe. And we had a Movi Pro at the time that was getting the shots looking as stable as you saw them. And that was pretty much it. I had my Black Magic with me as well and I got a few shots with it. And I'll kind of break down as to why that even happened because it wasn't a plan to get shots with another camera. I had planned to shoot this all on the, the mini, but yeah, I had it with me and I'll break down as to why that happened. So, going back, as you can see, there's a bunch of money that gets thrown around in this video, if you've already seen it. And yeah, it's all stylo's face on this money this is obviously fake money if we went to jamaica and threw around all this money we would have shut down the whole island we probably would have had people chasing after us but yeah i think previous to us going out to jamaica stylo had done a, a show and had all these um fake money printed in the uk and yeah he was just throwing them around at the show and that was part of the show and he he said to me oh, i've got this money being that the, the song is obviously about having money thicker than dumpling, like it, it made sense for him to bring this out and just throw it around and that's what happened and that's how those came about. They weren't really planned, it was just something he had and he said, yeah, I'm gonna bring them and we'll incorporate them in the video. So that's how that came about. So all these scenes here, as you saw by the title sequence, where it mentions another day in Spanish town. All of these shots were actually done in Spanish town. And it was a shoot where everything had to be done in one day because we were limited with time between Sean Paul, Spice, and Stylo G was obviously with us for the day. But um, we kind of shot it back to front. We started with Spice in Kingston, and then we flew over to Spanish town quickly to get um, Stylo's bits because this is Stylo's hometown, Spanish town 
and this is where we could draw the crowd the best because he's from there and a lot of people know him and, and they come out and show love when he's there. So that's how all these scenes came about um, and that involved obviously the dancers, the crowd and a lot of the bike scenes that you're going to see later in the video. So, spicy scenes. All these shots were done at Hope Zoo in Kingston and Jay and Carleen uh, obviously hooked us up with this. Doing something like that in the UK probably would not be able to be done. And that's one thing with Jamaica. When you go over there with a bit of money or if you just know how to talk, you can get what you need. Majority of the time, money does the talking to be fair, but you can get a variety of stuff that you can't normally get over here or it will cost you an arm and a leg to try and pull off over here. Like trying to lock down a zoo in London one probably wouldn't be doable because you just wouldn't get the permission and if you did it would cost tens of thousands of pounds so i don't know how they managed to do that we obviously had a bit of a budget to pay for locations but it wasn't anything crazy and yeah they managed to um, grab this location for us so with this the plan was to obviously have spice with her dancers doing their thing at the zoo and if i just gone back a few frames and as you can see there's pumpkins on the floor and we had originally dressed the floor with like pumpkin vines but because it was so hot on the day um, the vines are just all wilted and you can't really see them they were all kind of scattered nicely and sitting upright um, and they just wilted in the sun and that was just down to us kind of taking our time to get shooting because obviously there was spice involved she had to do her makeup and she had her dancers that had to get their makeup done so by the time we had set the scene and it was ready um it pretty much started to fall apart still managed to get the pumpkins as you can see i think prior to this we went and bought like i don't even know how many pumpkins we probably bought like 30 pumpkins from a stall or a few stalls in around kingston because we was going to different stalls to try and buy pumpkins and they didn't all have the right amount, so I think we went to like two or three stores in the end. So, another thing in this video is the dancers. And this was written into the treatment, I definitely wanted dancers in this. But they came and shut the show down. Um, I didn't really, like I knew they were obviously going to do their thing because I'd worked in Jamaica before and shot music videos in Jamaica and worked with dancers and know they know how to dance. Like everybody knows Jamaicans know how to dance. So I knew they were gonna do their thing, but the way that they brought this together in, in terms of just synchronizing their outfits, synchronizing their dances, especially these boys here, I can't remember the, the name of the group, but yeah, they absolutely shut it down. And then we've got some girls later on. And yeah, the dancing of this, or the dancers in this definitely helped bring the energy to the to the visual. So, the final location of the video was this nighttime scene. And as I said earlier, we started in, in Kingston Hope Zoo, went over to Spanish Town and then finished back up in Kingston. I forgot where we were with this location, but it was like a little, um, place that they hold dances in and I knew that I wanted this to this video to kind of be a vibe throughout and this was kind of the main vibey energetic scene here and with us only having Sean Paul for the evening I wanted to make sure when I get all three of them together this scene is absolutely like fire electric so I had asked for the truck to come in with these speakers, kind of like carnival vibes. And they made it happen. They got me a truck and that's the truck that Sean Paul comes out of. And it kind of references his lyric where he mentions, make way for the big truck shunting. And this is where we kind of needed our, our lighting team. We had had the boys follow us around throughout the day and they were bouncing light, but this is the first time that we actually had lights. And I think we had like two sky panels a few kind of LED, LED um, RGB gels that you could probably see in the truck um, lit up in there and 
yeah, it wasn't the craziest of, craziest of lighting so. So if you watch any dancehall music video where there's a strong dance and party scene, basically, you're always going to see this fire in the background. And it's basically a can and it's lit with a lighter and they're just blowing out flames. So this works so well in music videos. One, because you're obviously getting light from it and it looks sick as a backlight, especially when it's being done back there, like how it was done in the video. It just helped illuminate the whole venue with the lights that they were, um, the fire that they were spraying out of those cans. And it just helps add a warmth to the overall look as well as just energy to it as well because when you're seeing fire shoot up in the background it's not something you see every day and it is something that happens at these dances naturally <laughs> quick funny story with this the bikers on the day i think they do stunts all the time like they're known for doing stunts in spanish town these these lot and that's obviously why we called them down but two shots into capturing cutaways of the bikers, one of them ended up accidentally going into the DOP. It was either the DOP or the focus puller. One of them just lost control and ended up going into him, but it wasn't anything serious. It was literally by the time he had um, got to the DOP, he kind of regained control of the bike and it wasn't anything where anybody got hurt or equipment got damaged, but from that, um, the DOP obviously wasn't confident with capturing the bits and a few of these bits were captured on my Black Magic, and I brought it over there just to get BTS. Um, I hadn't planned to shoot any of the video with it, but luckily I had it because at a moment like this where I felt confident enough to still continue shooting and not risk such a, a big cost if anything did get damaged, I had my Black Magic to do so. and. Again, as I said before, always be prepared with these videos. You never know what's going to happen. This guy, yeah, legend. Like, he always walks around with that cash machine, just printing out the thing. That's his little special move in the dances and the crowd go crazy for it. And it was the same thing in, in this video. He, he was obviously dancing. He, he's got phones as well. And you probably saw it earlier where he had the phones and he was doing a little dance with them. And another one of his tricks is this, this cash machine. Yeah, he'll just stand there and print money. And being that the song, again, is about money, it just made sense. Or well, not print money, printing like, receipts from a till. And yeah, it kind of ties in with money. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Whole video shot in Jamaica within one day and like i said this video has gone on to do crazy it's, it's my most viewed video and it's always great working with people that you grew up watching people like sean paul and even stylo g to a certain extent like i remember watching stylo g on channel u back in the day and doing his thing and yeah getting to work with artists like this is always a blessing and especially in my home country of jamaica like, it's always a blessing to go over there and film. Yeah, that's it. Style OG Dumpling Remix featuring Spice and Sean Paul. And as always, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Please do let me know if there are any other breakdowns you would like to see, as I always ask. Um, like I said previously, I've got a bunch that I plan to do anyway. But if there are any that you would like to see, get brought up the queue then just let me know leave a comment below please like and subscribe to the channel definitely helps build this up i'll have a lot more content coming i proper sound like a youtuber now saying all this but it definitely does help seeing the likes seeing the subscriptions coming through definitely encourages me to want to do more for you guys and yeah like i said i'm planning to do a few behind the scenes and a lot more of these breakdowns to just kind of hopefully teach and give people an insight into how these videos came about. So yeah, like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.